Okay, what's up guys? I'm finally doing another Pass Lock 3 video since my my other video I did wasn't very good as far as details and everything. So, yeah, in this video I'll just be covering a solution to the no start problem for this is a 2003 Chevy 1500 and this works for any vehicle or truck that has a Pass Lock 3 system, security system. So basically any truck like this or GMC that's from 98 to like 05 or 06. If you know there's a sensor in here and if it doesn't sense the sensor, then the truck doesn't start. So anyway, if your truck isn't starting, it, it usually like tries to start for like a second or two, like two seconds and then it'll just cut off. So it kind of seems like maybe your fuel pump would be bad or you know something like that and what what it, what it does is you try to start it and then your security light up here either comes on or starts flashing after you tried to start it and the reason it does that it'll it'll come on or try to or it'll flash to sh to tell you that there's something wrong with the security system and so yeah, if it acts like that, then this should, I mean 90% of the time or more, this should be the problem. Sometimes it's the exact, it's actually the, um, like the actual pass key three module and that's like under the dash here somewhere. I'm not actually sure, but you can Google that online to figure out if, you know, where your module is. Sensor in this truck went bad. So, and I also wanna say after you do this, your security light will stay on. For example, I just started it, and like the check engine light is on because of O2 sensors, so don't worry about that, but the security light will stay on after you do this, but it runs and drives just like normal. So yeah, I hope you can hear good. So that's just so you guys know. And I mean, you could take that light out or um, supposedly if you put the right resistor in here, then you're able to make that light go out as well. But for the way I'll show you, it doesn't go out, but it makes your truck run, so turn it back off. And so anyway, all you do, as you can see, I got these two covers off. Um, this one goes on top, just like that. And this one goes on bottom. And I just, there's two screw holes on the bottom here like right here and here, it's like a Phillips screws. And you take those screws out and then this thing you just kind of pop off the top. The bottom one you just kind of pop off the bottom. Here's your thing to adjust the steering wheel. This just pulls straight out, comes out kind of hard so you just gotta, yeah, pull on it. And it's if you can't get yours off without taking this panel off or the bottom panel here, bottom panel has two seven millimeter bolts and this panel here just pops straight out just like just like that I mean it's pretty simple and then and then if you take those two panels off then it'll be easier to get your covers off of here so anyway okay so in order to bypass it all you got to do I mean you don't actually even have to unplug this thing but I'll just unplug it because I actually already did this bypass on this truck but I did the wiring down here did the wiring down here but these three wires black yellow and red as you can see right here they just run down under the steering wheel and down down there so all you got to do is you got to connect the yellow wire and the black wire so I'll just do that real quick um, I mean, I'm actually, I could actually just cut them all, but, and when you're cutting wires, you wanna cut them one at a time, just in case, you know, you're cutting a positive, you don't wanna cut a positive or a negative at the same time, cause then it can short out. So, let's just go like that. And then all I'll do, all I'm gonna do is connect this yellow wire with the black wire, yellow and black. And so I'm just gonna strip the yellow wire and the black wire, then I'm gonna twist them together, and then 
you definitely want to solder them just in case you don't want to be driving down the road and then you know these might be moving around and might lose connection and if they lose connection like a slight bit or anything then you won't be able to start your truck again without reconnecting them right and then redoing the relearn process so I got the yellow and the black wire connected I just stripped them with a wire stripper and twisted them together make sure that they are connected very good and I had to replace this yellow wire that's why it turns to red here so in case you were wondering so these normally these came up here so just unplug this and connect your yellow and black wire and sometimes your wires might not be the exact same color code side so the middle one and the one on the left and just connect those two okay so um anyway after you connect those two wires, then you'll have to do the relearn process. Um, the relearn process is very simple. You can do it yourself. All you gotta do is put the key in and try to start the truck. Like you'd turn the key to on and then keep turning it to try and start it. And then it's obviously not gonna start. And then you just let go of the key and it'll return back to on position automatically. And then you'll leave it there in the on position for for 10 minutes and your your light up here your security light will either be on just on solid or it'll be flashing and that'll be flashing or be on for like right around 10 minutes and so you can just you know set your phone timer for you know 10 minutes or eight you probably want to set it for like eight or nine minutes because at around that time, after 10 minutes, the light will stop flashing or it'll turn off completely. And that's when you want to turn the key to the off position. And then you want to leave it in the off position for 5 to 10 seconds. And then you want to try and start it again. And then it'll go back to the on position and leave it in the on position again. And that'll start blinking again for 10 minutes again. And then after the 10 minutes, it'll turn off and then you'll just put it back in the on position again for five to 10 seconds, and then just do it again. You'll do that process three times where you just try to start it, leave it in on position for 10 minutes until your light goes out, not exactly 10 minutes, but until your light goes out, and then you'll turn it to off for five to 10 seconds, and then turn, try and start it again, leave it in the on position for 10 minutes. You just do that process up to three times um, I haven't I've, I don't think it's ever happened that you, that people have had to do it more than three times but after the third time it should start and or yeah it should start and run so I mean for example like I can unplug mine and I can still start the truck it runs just fine the only downside is my security light stays on but I really don't care for this truck I mean if you have a nicer truck and you don't want that to be on you can either take that bulb out which you'd have to take this out and take that bulb out or you can um, put a resistor put a resistor in between the yellow wire and the black wire but the problem is you have to know the the exact resistance that that was in the sensor from the factory and that's very hard to determine because not every truck's the same so I mean if you can figure out or you know test what resistance works to make that light go out then you can fix that